Hello, in this video I will show you how to use my latest plugin, CryptoLoot Virtual Crypto Farm Plugin for WordPress. So to begin, click Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, Choose File, Navigate the zip file you downloaded, click Install Now. After the installation, activate the plugin and go to Plugin Settings. Now you have to enter a CryptoLoot public key and secret key. For this, go here. Uh, you have to create an account and login. Afterwards, I just signed in. Afterwards, you will get redirected here. If not, click Manage Sites and create a new website. Copy the site key, insert it here. Copy the secret key, insert it here. Don't bother using these because I will delete them when I'm finished with the video. <coughs> okay, now the plugin is ready for use on your website and ready for making money for you. This is how the pop up looks. Okay, now uh, we have some options. The user you can uh, set that the Mining automatically starts at page load. Now it is not started. You can set this here. Check the checkbox. And if you refresh the page, it automatically starts on page load. As you can see, hashes per second are getting generated and total hashes are increasing. The user has the ability to stop. Okay. Uh, I have to show you my CPU usage graph. Uh, one note in this is that I'm running my screen recording software right now, and this is why uh, it's staying at 50%. If we go here, we can see that Ice Cream Recorder takes away a large portion of my CPU, so this is because this is why uh, my CPU is not idle. So if I start mining, CPU usage increases. If I increase threads to 4, CPU usage reach, reaches 100%. Okay, let's stop mining for now. And let's go to plugin settings. Uh, if you check the start mining when loading WordPress admin, then uh, mining will take place also in the WordPress admin in the background. Uh, in the WordPress admin there will be no notification about this. Detect device battery and stop mining when on battery. If you check this, i show you this is quite a nice feature. <coughs> you will uh, find this feature only in my plugins. So if we start mining with these settings, let's say with four threads, so we will see a bit of difference. I will go ahead and unplug my laptop's battery right now. Uh, my charger. I will unplug it now. Mining stopped. I will plug it back now. Mining started. I will unplug it again now. Mining stopped. Unplug it back mining started. So as you can see uh, the JavaScript uh, handles automatically if the user is on battery or on uh, AC power and it stops automatically if it detects battery. This will make the uh, mining not drain the user's battery and because this is very annoying for almost any user. Okay, also you can disable mining on mobile, copy crypto loot JavaScript locally. Uh, if you have issues with some anti-malware software that uh, categorize the crypto loot uh, JavaScript as a malware, then you can try uh, copying the JavaScript locally. And uh, in this way, you will probably get rid of these issues. 
some malware, uh, some anti malware applications are categorizing uh, crypto loot as a malware because some users uh, don't prompt uh, on their websites that they use uh, mining, and because of this. Some users see only the uptick in CPU usage and categorize the website as a malware. This is why uh, crypto loot is sometimes categorized as malware, but it is not. It is a very helpful tool. You can also automatically adjust thread count. If you check this, the thread count will be adjusted automatically by the plugin to maximize the uh, performance of the mining on each uh, computer or mobile if you want. Default thread for mining for desktop or mobile, default throttle for mining for desktop or mobile, uh, forced legacy uh, miner if the user has an old browser that automatically will uh, use the legacy miner, you can force this to be used on all devices. I don't recommend checking these settings unless you have issues. Log each user's hash count. If you want to log each user how many hashes uh, did, each WordPress user. So each WordPress user will be assigned a number of hash counts if you check this. You can run miner only for logged in or only for not logged in users or you can automatically stop miner after a number of hashes is reached. Also, you can opt to not show notification, which is, which is not recommended because your website might be categorized as a malware if you don't show notification. <coughs> and here you can select how you will show the notification. This is the top panel. Bottom round corner right. Let's see the round corner right look. This is it. Also, let's see the pop-up. Note, note that uh, the text in the pop-up or the pop-up full size is fully customizable, so you don't have to stick with this. Okay, now let's go ahead and customize the pop-up. If you check this, you will be given some advanced CSS options. If you know CSS, you can change the pop-up directly from here. If no, no problem, the plugin has some advanced features that will allow you to customize the pop-up even if you don't know CSS. Here you will be given the possibility to change the message of the pop-up. So you will... Uh, you can enter a message here and use shortcodes. For example, throttle input shortcode will generate this input field. And the value by default in this input field is set by uh, the throttle default for desktop or mobile in function from which device the, the page is uh, accessed. So this throttle input shortcode will generate this, threads input will generate this, input field start stop button will generate this, which is the start stop button for hashing, uh, hashes per second will generate this, total hashes will generate this, and close button will generate this hide. You can customize the close, close button text with this field, the more info button text with this field, and more info link address with this field. Also, the more info shortcode is this. Okay. <clears throat> you can further customize the pop-up. You can choose to fade background and to automatically close pop-up. If you want to automatically close after this number of milliseconds, these are 5 seconds. So let's see what happens now. If we fade the background and want to automatically close pop-up after 5 seconds. So we faded the background. 
and the pop-up was automatically closed okay now let's disable this <coughs> you can disable pop-up for logged in users you can set cookie lifetime cookie lifetime sorry cookie lifetime is used when you check this checkbox show only once per visitor so if you uh, show only once per visitor you can opt to show only once per visitor each pop-up uh, in this case cookies will be used to uh, save the state of the pop-up and you can select set here after how many minutes the pop-up should be shown again to a visitor that already saw the pop-up uh, you can s uh, here are some styling options you can select fade or slide for the disappearing animation of the pop-up so let's see it again okay now uh, let's see uh, what happens if we go further text padding padding of the text background style solid transparent or image you can set an image for the background pop-up background color you can select the color of the pop-up text color you can also select the text color for the pop-up closing link color let's customize this show borders border color uh, width uh, rounded corners show pop-up in place of uh, show buttons in place of links bottom button background color let's customize these also uh, border color font size font type bold italic underline also uh, you can select the panel to stick to its initial position you can enter any custom CSS you want for the pop-up <coughs> you can force to show the pop-up only once per visitor as I mentioned and for testing purposes you can delete the cookies that are set for you so this is how you delete it uh, okay now let's save settings now cookie is not set so the pop-up will be shown for us and if we refresh our page if the user clicks hide the pop-up will be set the cookie will set the cookie we have to delete the cookie after this to show the pop-up again okay also uh, the plugin allows a feature if you use show only once per visitor feature then you can create a button that will uh, tell the plugin to show the pop-up again <coughs> so you can do this with this shortcode this shortcode can be customized with link text and prompt text parameters let's demonstrate this right now so I will show you fully right now I will not get the pop-up because I hidden it so if I refresh the page like now the pop-up is not shown if I go to the test uh, post this shortcode created me a button the button text can be customized and if I click this button a prompt will appear 
also this text can be customized or if you leave the text parameter for this so if you leave the prompt text parameter blank then the uh, prompt will not be shown if the user clicks ok the pop-up will be shown again for him until he clicks hide so if he doesn't click hide the pop-up will continue to show at each refresh he clicks hide the pop-up no longer shows for him at page refresh until he checks clicks this button okay so these are the main features of the plugin here we can see uh, hashes per second that we're a uh, website that we're generating and total hashes that we got so far also activity and logging section here you will see errors if the plugin encountered, encountered any error it will be locked here also you can restore plugin default settings from here okay I hope I, you will enjoy this plugin. Until next time, bye bye.